A voice mail is a system to convey a call as recording audio message to a recipient. With voicemail, the user can record a voice message which can then be used in the interface to manage. A delivery method to either play or deliver the message and it also features a notification ability to inform the user a message waiting to be heard. Welcome to another episode of Global Banking Finance Review. My name is Zipika Lobo. Today we're going to talk about how to set up a voicemail. Voicemail mostly uses cellular or landline based networks and the medium to perform this function. The voicemail feature acts in a way that is similar to the old answering machine. The main difference is that instead of the message being stored in the answering machine, it's now stored in the server of the service provider in a space reserved for the user. How to set up a voicemail in Android? You can call up your network service provider for the voicemail number. On your Android device, enter settings and choose call or phone. Select the voicemail option, then enter voicemail settings. You can then enter your voicemail number that was provided by your service provider. This path may vary as per device and the version of Android you are using. How to set up voicemail for iPhone? iPhone gives you the feature to set up new voicemail or transfer your existing voicemail. You have to first go to the phone application and then tap the voicemail tab and then on set up now. In the next step, you will have to set up the voicemail password and then tap again to confirm the same. You can either set a custom or default as a reading message. In case it is custom, you can record your own reading message the way you want it for friends and family, etc. Tap and save to confirm the reading message. One to be noted here is, just in case you forget your voicemail password, there is practically no way to retrieve it from the iPhone. You will have to call your service provider to reset your password. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And one lucky winner will win a one-year free subscription of Global Banking and Financial Magazine.